It's actually quite funny how these uh, these two th things work because with the size of the keyboard and the uh, what is it and the uh, SD card, it really feels like you're inserting a floppy disk into uh, into the system, which is really uh, really really funny. Okay. And if you insert a uh, SD card, it just quickly scans for uh, PND files on the uh, SD card. Okay, now it's time for some PlayStation emulation. There's two PlayStation emulators. One is PCSX Rearm and the other one is PCSX Pandora. Um, load a game. And now I have to go to the media. Like so, play three. Um, so uh, sometimes this this system will hang because of these uh, the faulty uh, files. So it, luckily it does boot this. I guess uh, you do need a an original uh, an original file from the uh, PlayStation. Uh, console, the PlayStation 1 console, in order to use this. As I own about six of these consoles, I think I'm entitled to use at least a pile on this. So Need for Speed. Uh, this is just running at 500 megahertz. It's largely unoptimized yet. So let's see if I can get some PlayStation action going on. Okay. So this is scaling to full screen. And as you can see, it is not running full speed, but pretty playable, I'd say. Three, two, one, go! And of course, these. Um, um, you have uh, less precise action games like RPGs that will just, or 2D games that will just run fine. And there are some graphical aberrations, but for the most part, PlayStation emulation is pretty, pretty solid on this uh, on this system.